Right, we got ourselves a nice piece of uh, silver side. There is no secret in uh, selection of beef for biltong. And what I'm going to do is just show you how I trim this up and slice up the silver side ready for slicing for biltong. Now, using a filleting knife, very nice flexible knife, just to get just underneath all the very loose fat on the side. We have sometimes this is the piece of sinew that they leave on the side of the silver side, which gives it its name silver side, but it's a very, very tough sinewy it's, it's just nasty so we cut it off because I want all my customers to have nice tasty built on not to be chewing on it for a week I trim the bottom off gets rid of all the very loose built on uh, built on all the loose bit of blood from the from where it's been vacuum sealed this is a uh, imported silver side from Australia we are really just trimming off the softest worst bits I'll keep some fat down there whatever's now if we flip this over, you can see you've got a nice, some really nice hard fat here, we want that. This soft stuff, we don't want it. When it's dry, it's just bleh. So, you see the texture? It's cringeworthy. You, you don't want to eat that. Some people will still dry it off like that. I, I take off that very soft stuff. It doesn't dry very well. It's okay to leave a little membrane on the top here. When that dries, you won't even taste it. But that is pretty much it. So now we're done with this knife. Now we bring out the big boy. And if you can still see, let's just check it out because I need to turn this a bit. So. We are basically slicing a very large slice of bread. I have my container very close by. So as I, as I slice a piece off, I've made it now nice and square. I can now go in from the top, slice down. You want to use a nice, very sharp knife. This is a Victorinox knife. Now this, this is going to be some really nice built on. Let's just show you in there. Look at that. Imagine the stakes from that bad boy. Right now, what I do do sometimes is I'll flip this to the side that I've just cut and I'll just take a bit of the bottom off. I'll literally take one slice off a reasonably lean piece it will still get made into bristle. but now when I put my uh, silver side back down it, it, it's on a bigger surface it gives me more more to hold on to so plus if I feel my knife's getting a bit blunt I might switch so I'm now just making solid slices nice even strokes if you have to pass through twice don't be afraid we are cutting along the grain some people say cut across cut with the grain I tell you what I've done both ways and actually no one's ever moaned at me so you know what it's all it's all the same now you can see these pieces, they are stacking up really nicely. 
there's a very thin layer of fat on there yeah you can see that now I'm probably going half inch some people might say inch some people might say quarter inch <laughs> quarter inch way too thin now if I go on a little bit thicker side of it it just gives you a little softer built on after the the few days um, it does also help if your meat is ice cold you not battling to cut through it see I'm getting to the end of this now it's taken me a while and it's a little more difficult because it's just that much softer I'll go move these they go into the tub you got a really thick piece there but I'm gonna keep that and it's gonna stay like that so that's how we slice up the silver side yeah once I do the spicing, I'll show you how we do that. Uh, and even as soon as we we start hanging. But um, see ya. <laughs>